What's going on guys, Nick Anderson here, and we're in Boise, Idaho right now, my hometown actually overlooking the whole city right now, but what I wanna do for you is teach you a concept that you can use to build a bigger following in your business and have a mass amount of influence you know, without doing any prospecting at all. And this concept, you guys, is what I've been applying to my business and what I've been using for the past two years, and I wanna teach it to you. You know, we got Paul behind the camera, but basically, you guys, it's very, very simple. It's called study, do, teach. And when people get started with their business, they get trapped in a phase where all they do is study. You know, all they do is absorb information and they don't apply any of that into their business. You know, people, you see people that are doing a lot of personal development, they're reading a lot of books, they're watching a lot of videos, but they're not producing results at all. Like think about it this way, you guys, you know, if you're in school right now, or maybe you graduated college, you know, let's say people that are going to school to become a doctor, right? You know, how many years does it take? It takes like eight years to become a doctor, but while they're going through schooling, they're not earning the six figure income that a doctor would earn. So they're studying, 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 but they're not getting the results from it. The greatest part about network marketing that I love is you can continuously learn and get better and at the same time produce results and start making money right off the bat. So the concept of study, do, teach is gonna show you how to continuously learn, better yourself as an individual, better yourself as a leader in your organization, and you know produce results at the same time. So when you're studying, you know what should, should you be studying? You know, you should be studying from people that simply have the results that you want. I mean, it's really that simple. Like, think about it like this. You know, if you want to be good at basketball, who are you going to study? Michael Jordan, right? If you want to be good at golf, you're going to study Tiger Woods. You know, I'm not going to take marriage advice from Tiger Woods, obviously. You know, I take like pimping advice from the dude. But, you know, think about it in terms of like making money, right? You know, if you want to make him a lot of money, you obviously learn from someone who has the result that you want because you can't learn from someone who hasn't, you know, achieved that result. It's like learning from, you know, your friend that's working at like Burger King or McDonald's. They're not the best person to take advice from. So the people that I like to study from is, you know, the greats like Jim Rohn, Anthony Robbins, Bob Proctor, you know, Eric Warre, Les Brown, Eric Thomas, Zig Ziglar. Those are just a few to start you guys off and when you start listening to audios on a daily basis and you start reading you know from personal development books like think and grow rich that knowledge you need to start applying it you need to start doing it start using that into your life and start that information they give you just start applying it into your business right away because you're gonna learn 10 times quicker if you apply the information instead of you know just hoarding it to yourself because you'll forget a lot of things like think about it this way you guys if you have a glass a glass of water and you're trying to fill it up if you just keep pouring water into the glass it's going to overflow and you know it can only retain so much information so how you can you know be able to retain a lot more information is by emptying your glass into other people's glasses. Like if you pour water, which is knowledge, into your glass, and you see people on your team in your organization, if you start sharing it, if you start teaching it to them too, what you're doing is you're simply emptying your glass into their glasses. You're filling their heads up with more information so they can in turn learn. And how you do that, you guys, it's like Google webinars, hangouts, conference calls. You know, when you learn through personal development, have a webinar with your team to where you teach them what you learned in the audio that you listened to that day. Or you know, let's say you read 10 pages in a personal development book. You can in turn apply that into your business, teach it to a few people on your team. And let's say you don't have a team yet. Maybe you just got started in network marketing. What do you do then? You know, how do you build a team? Making videos, you guys. When I started out in my business, I simply would do personal development, I would listen to an audio, and I would make a video teaching exactly what I learned in that word for word, but I would just add my own personal stories, and by doing that, teaching it to other people, I wasn't prospecting them. I wasn't talking about my company, I wasn't talking about my opportunity, I was simply talking about how they can better themselves as a person and get to the point where they're financially free, where they have time freedom to do what they want to do. So if you guys use that, if you apply that formula into your business, it's going to get you great results. But yeah, you know, I just want to pass it off to Paul so he can give you some personal stories and some more examples of how you can apply this into your business. All right, so coming off of what Nick just told you, you know, study, do, teach. It's something that so many people get focused on the study, 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 study. I mean, you know, in, in an email that we recently sent you, I was talking to you guys about how there's always information overload when you get started in network marketing. All right, whether you've been involved for two years, five years, 10 years, or, you know, a week, it doesn't really matter. There, I know of people in the industry that have been to every single event since the company started 20 years ago, yet they're still broke. So, you know, be, do, do me a favor, do yourself a favor, all right, don't be that person. See, don't get stuck in the study, 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 study mode. I actually have a personal friend of mine, love him to death. But the thing is, what happened a lot is he'd study, 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 study. I felt like he was a personal guru in the field of personal development. 
the guy would know absolutely everything there was to know about the subconscious mind, about your, your subconscious faculties, all right, about infinite intelligence, about this, that, this. The only problem was he didn't have a single result to show for it. Don't be that person. All right. I went through phases where I'd study, study. I'm like, all I, my, my business is slow. It's not growing. <laughs> like, what do I do? Well, I need to study. I need to grow more in order to become more, to earn more. Reality is what I love about network marketing as a whole is it's personal development with a check attached. All right. So as long as you're studying, go out and do apply, teach. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this. I know I personally have. If you're in a car, on a road trip or you're in a car with a friend in a place you don't know exactly know too well and they're driving you get to the destination and if another friend or someone asks you you know what are the directions how'd you get there you could probably not recall any of it you just went through the same thing this person went through you were in the same car the same vehicle yet this person knows exactly what happened because you know what they were doing it all right now imagine if they taught you the exact route they know that route you know step by step because they literally be pictured it fills in the blanks you guys, it fills in the blanks. So you need to be continuously studying, doing, and teaching. Don't be stuck in that mode. If right now, if you're in that mode where, you know, you're studying, you're reading a bunch of personal development, yeah, I'm just reading this, that, this, perfect. Now go teach someone. If you don't have a downline to teach you to, talk to your mom, talk to your dad, talk to your best friend, and tell them what you learned. Don't be embarrassed of it. Because as soon as you start to teach them, the blanks start to fill in. Your subconscious mind recognizes these patterns. And what happens is, as you're studying, you're doing it because you're talking about it and you're teaching it. All right. That being said, you guys, don't be that guy. I'm going to, I'm going to call you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to challenge you right now. Don't be that person that gets stuck in study mode. Instead, teach it.